Hello, welcome to Irish Football Fan TV. It's me, Paul, and I'm here to talk about Jake O'Brien and the links between him and some other big European clubs. Obviously, he's made his name this season playing for Lyon. I think he has 27 appearances and he's got four goals and two assists in that time. And he was a real kind of catalyst in the change of fortunes in Lyon's season this year especially when he kind of came in they were fighting relegation they weren't doing well and then he came in and he was one of the reasons to help them climb the table and ultimately get European football we all remember the the scenes of the fans criticizing the players on the pitch and stuff like that and basically saying it's not good enough and they look they made a couple of good transfers and stuff like that and uh, they seem to be back on track now but Jake obviously had such a big impact on their season you know recently scoring in the Coupe de France final against PSG as well so he's had a really good season, a really breakthrough season, and it seems as though there's a lot of interest there. I know Everton were, were looking to get him as part of a deal with Arno Danjuma in January, where basically Danjuma would, would end his loan with Everton, go to Lyon, and in return Everton wanted Jake O'Brien, but that didn't materialise. But it seems as though Everton are one of the clubs that are linked with Jake and uh, you've got AC Milan and the big one as well being now being Dortmund. And it's interesting to see, you know, is this a place where he could actually go and develop? Or, you know, in my opinion, I would like to see Jake stay one more year at Lyon because he's guaranteed first team football there with the French club. It's a huge historic club. I know they're not at the heights they were maybe about 10 years ago, but they still are a really big historic club. It's similar to AC Milan in that respect is that, you know, they've had big... Uh, successful teams in the past maybe not as big now but they're still a giant in terms of their name and the club but I do think that Leon or Jay could stay at Leon there and become a really big and important player for them for another year and then potentially have himself really established as a first team player both internationally and at a club level and then possibly go to a Dortmund or something like that but look he seems to be Someone who backs himself. If he did go to Dortmund, I'm sure he'd back himself to get into the team there. And it's great to see an Irish player showing this ambition to maybe go and you know take on and play for a team in a big league and one of you know Europe's top five leagues and actually go. So he's gone from the League of Ireland to the French league and now potentially either Syria or to uh, the Bundesliga with Dortmund. It's it's great to see a player as I said showing ambition and I do think that you know we're only going to see. Jake O'Brien in terms of his star go you know higher and higher and higher I really think that this kid can go places and I think that um you know you look at him he has everything you need um to be a top level center back he's fast he's quick he's good on the ball he obviously he's danger from both boxes well mainly the opposition's box but he's good in both boxes in terms of clearances and so on um yeah recovery tackles really good as well so look there's a lot to be positive about for for Jake O'Brien but just in this instance, I'd be I'd be open to kind of hearing people's arguments of where he should go next. Should he stay? Should he go? Would he, you know not just Everton in the Premier League, but there is other Premier League clubs I believe linked with him. And uh, yeah, it seems to be exciting times for Jacob Bryan. But I suppose we'll leave it there. Let us know what you think in the comments. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I'll speak to you all soon. Thanks for watching.